A very good morning to you, to you, Ruan. Thank you very much for speaking to Morning Life. How are the preparations going for the team? Hi, Leanne. Um, no, the preparations have been going very well for, for myself and the team. We arrived here on Saturday afternoon and we've had two extra sessions because normally we only arrive on the Monday. And the spirit in the team has been great and we're all getting used to the high altitude and we're enjoying the court, so preparations have been going good. All right, and Ron, just how much of a threat is Lithuania, bearing in mind that they progressed to this stage in the competition, having beaten Norway 5-0? You guys, on the other hand, having struggled a little bit in that tie against Monaco and only progressing 3-2. Um, yes, Lithu Lithuania have a very strong team. Um, I think they have one guy that's ranked around the top 100 in the world and, and the other guys, their number two players, around 200. Um, so that will be tough challenges for us. Um, yes, we only got through our, our first round with 3-2, but a win is a win, and we're up against them in, in the next round of the competition, so we'll be ready to battle by the weekend. Yes, yeah, stalwart Richter Fust also announcing that uh, this uh, Davis Cup title be his 20th, but it'll also be his last to play for South Africa. Has that at all changed the, en the energy within the team? Leanne, I don't think it's really changed the energy except um, lift all of our efforts that extra little bit to, to try and make this uh, a very good last tie for Richter first. And um, yeah, so I don't think it's really changed anything drastically, but we all would like to get the win um, on the weekend for Rick. Yeah. All right, and just a correction, uh, Ruan. I haven't dyed my hair or anything. It's Valen that's speaking to you from uh, Johannesburg, not Leanne. But uh, let's continue chatting a little bit about uh, the Davis Cup tie and uh, the fact that Raven Klaassen, with the recent releasing of the rankings, up to a career best. I mean, that's surely going to be a boost for the team. He's always great to have on the side. Yeah, yeah, that's always great to have Raven on the side. We've all known him for really long. And it's been great that he's been having so much success lately and the rise of the rankings and the doubles. And um, he brings a lot of experience to the team and he's always around giving advice and, and lifting the spirit in the team. So that's, that's a great thing for all of us in the team. Do you think there's a bit more pressure playing at home? I don't think there's any, any added pressure. I think it's just an advantage for all of us because all of South Africa... Um, hopefully will come out and, and come support us on the weekend. So I think it's just a big advantage for us. Do you think the high altitude and warm weather will affect the performance, perhaps assist you guys? Yeah, for sure. It's, I don't think it, um, it's quite warmed up in Europe where, where the other team is from. So the, so the weather will definitely play into our hands and hopefully it's a little bit warmer on the weekend than it has been the whole week. And um, the high altitude is definitely a huge advantage to us because we all grew up in South Africa and, and learned to play tennis in these conditions. So even though it's difficult for both teams, we know a little bit how to adjust and, and how to react to all of the, the difficulties that altitude might throw at you. Ron, there's been talk that it's the doubles that'll be the deciding factor in this tie. What is your thoughts on that? Yeah, the doubles always, always plays a massive role in the, in the Davis Cup um, rubber by the weekend. So um, whoever is going to be teaming up with, with Raven on the weekend. Um, John Lafney hasn't told us yet who exactly it will be, but whoever teams up with him on the weekend um, definitely needs to step up and, and that always plays a big part in, in the Davis Cup. Rick de Fust, as much as he has announced his retirement for playing for South Africa in the Davis Cup, he also had a massive drop in rankings. Do you think that that'll have any effect on the team? No, I don't think it will have any effect on, on the team that Rick has dropped down the rankings a little bit. Um, he just had his firstborn child um, about a month ago, so that has made him not being able to play as many tournaments as he has lately, but he's still been practicing and still been on the court all the time, and he's bringing a lot of experience to the team. So he knows what he needs to do to win, and I don't think it will affect us at all. You don't think it'll affect you guys at all. We wish you guys all the best of luck. Um, we encourage all South Africans that do have 
or rather are in the Gauteng region to get down and support uh, the South African Davis Cup team as they go up against Lithuania in their uh, Group 2 Euro Asia Cup tie. Thank you very much, Ruan, for chatting to us here on Morning Live. Thank you very much.